All right, well, it looks like we have most people on the line now, so we can get started. We'd like to welcome everyone to the latest VIA Live product training. And today we're proud to host Okma to present to you the Arctec Passive Vaccine Storage Device. So for those on the line that are not familiar with uh, VIA Global Health, what we are is a medical equipment sourcing platform where you can source, quote, purchase and ship products from around the world. And we do that faster, easier, and more affordably for you. So if you'd like to learn more about the company, you can go to our about page here. And what that will do is give you more detail on who we are, what we do, and what we believe in really as a company. So you can watch any videos or learn about our team or see any of the different partners we worked with or who have been covered by. You can also search our catalog. So what you're here to do is find products, of course, and find information and pricing. So there's a few ways to do that. The first way I'd recommend is by looking through our product categories. So if you're looking for anesthesia or audiology or radiology, we group our products together so it makes it easier for you to find what you want. You can also type in a product. So for example, if you want to see the Arctech, you type that in. We don't want the autocorrect. And what that would do is automatically show you that product. What you could also do is type in something like ultrasound. And what that will do is bring up all the options for the ultrasound. So you can now see any product we have that has ultrasound in the description or in the title. So you see quite a few products. And we're trying to just do that so that it's as easy for you to find the information and the products that you need. The third thing you can do is look at our featured products, which are typically the most innovative products available in the market, whether they're new to the market altogether or just something that your customers and you may not be aware of at this point yet. So. If you want to learn about new products, you can come here and, for example, click on the Arctech Passive, Passive Vaccine Storage Device and go to the product page. Now, the product page really functions as your brochure. We give you every piece of information you need because we've had thousands of inquiries come in and we know exactly what our customers need. So we know you want to know the title of the product. You want to have a short description about what it is and what it does, any regulatory approvals. Uh, you want to see pictures of the product, not only just the outside, but what are the components of the device itself? How does it function together? So different visuals there are helpful. A longer description of what the product is, what it does, any key features, specifications. Uh, again, here's your components involved. And it talks a bit more about the history of the device as well and any product instruction. And once we finish this training, We'll take that video and put it on here as well so that you can watch it again or share with any customers you have. Uh, you can also look at product documents because we know that you can't submit any tenders or an often for private inquiries without a user manual, brochures, uh, product specifications, different deals with warranty as well. And then again, specifications. So really everything you could possibly need to satisfy your inquiries and tenders is listed here. Um, as far as pricing, the one thing you'll notice is not here. This is for folks that are not verified distributors. So if you click on that request a quote, you can then submit this form and that will allow us to connect you with the proper distributor in your market or to quote you directly if you qualify. Uh, for those of you who are verified distributors, what you would do is log into your account and you would see all the pricing here immediately. So you can now respond with quotes in a matter of seconds, as opposed to the weeks or months that sometimes it takes with more traditional measures. So again, I wanna just introduce the, the Arctech device. It's one of our most innovative devices, and we think it has a great impact to really expand your reach with vaccine uh, treatment throughout the more rural areas where there may be less access to electric power. So with that, I'd like to just uh, introduce the team at Alkma to talk to you a bit more about the Arctech and the features, the benefits, the functions, and then afterwards we can take your questions. Okay, this is uh, Lee uh, with Alkma Global. Um, I'm the general manager of this company. Um, thank you all for being here. I want to uh, take this opportunity to introduce the Arctech to you all. And, uh, as you can see uh, from the image, uh, uh, this is an Arctic device and uh, is designed to uh, safely store vaccines. Uh, and I want to mention that, that the background of this uh, device, Alkma partnered with uh, Global Good uh, to 
uh, develop a new technologies and uh, uh, in which, uh, uh, revolution, uh, uh, innovations to improve the, the efficiency and the capacity of the healthcare delivery across uh, worldwide. And um, now I want to uh, introduce the uh, architect device to you. And uh, uh, the, 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 the main features of the device is uh, it can keep uh, the vaccines between 0 to 10 degrees C uh, for 35 days or more at uh, 43 degrees C ambient temperature. And uh, it is uh, equipped with uh, uh, real time uh, alert uh, and uh, video and audible alarm when the, when the temperature is uh, out of range, when the outer, out, out, out of range of temperature occurs. And um, and the other, speci uh, other speci uh, specifications for the object is uh, the capacity of this device is uh, 5.4 liters and uh, the net width is uh, 26.5 kilograms and um, um, the gross width is uh, 32.5 uh, 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 kilograms. Um, and this device uh, consists of uh, four uh, mini uh, components. Uh, one is the dual. Uh, this is a insulated dual um, made of uh, advanced material and uh, superior vacuum uh, insulation. And, uh, and the other component is a uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a lid. Uh, the, the lid on the top of the, of the device is a lid. Uh, you can see it, uh, through the camera. The lead and the, 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 the third component is uh, uh, eight, eight uh, sets, uh, sets of uh, ice blocks, and the fourth uh, component is uh, three sets of the uh, vaccine, uh, vaccine stacks. And uh, uh, after, after the introduction of the components, I want to uh, introduce the, 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 the ice blocks and the vaccine decks to you all. Uh, further, uh, further, uh, because uh, these uh, two components are very important to the function of the, uh, this device. Um, first is about the, 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 the ice blocks. Here I want to introduce how to use the ice blocks, um, how to fill water into the ice blocks, how to freeze the ice blocks, how to condition these ice blocks, and uh, after all these uh, steps finished, how to place the ice blocks in, into the uh, device. Okay, first is uh, how to uh, fill the water into the ice blocks. We need to unscrew uh, the, the, the cap uh, and uh, tick uh, this, the, 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 uh, the moment off. And uh, and you uh, after after this, we can we can fill uh, clean water into the ice blocks, uh, and until uh, until this uh, red uh, water line, you, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the the, the, the red line marked on, on the outer side of the ice block, and. Um, uh, do not need to overfill these eye blocks. I think uh, till the water line is perfect. After the water is filled uh, to the ice blocks, we need to uh, screw the thermometer and the cap uh, into uh, ice blocks and then place uh, ice block to a separate uh, freezer. The freezer uh, is just the, the typical uh, freezer uh, with a minus 5 to minus 20 degrees C freezer. Uh, we place the, 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 the ice blocks to the freezer to, fr to freeze the ice block. It needs up to uh, 48 hours to, uh, to freeze its ice, ice blocks. After this ice, ice blocks are completely frozen, we need to remove Remove, remove. We need to remove this 
this ice blocks from the freezer uh, to uh, to uh, to the flat surface to condition. The ice blocks must be conditioned before the ice blocks loaded into the device because. Uh, if uh, if the, the ice blocks uh, is not condi conditioned, maybe the vac the the, the, vac the vaccine inside the the, uh, the device maybe uh, is uh, freezing by the by, by the, the, the the inside cooled. And uh, the next step is how to condition these ice blocks. How to condition? Uh, to uh, accomplish uh, this, we need to place. Uh, we need to arrange the ice blocks. On the surface of the flat uh, uh, desk, and uh, leave a certain space uh, between them, and uh, uh, leave them uh, at uh, room temperature for a period of time until 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 the ice at the core of the ice block rise to rise to minus two to minus uh, one degree C. But for the uh, for the users, how to look uh, uh, the, the the ice block is conditioned. Uh, we um, we can uh, we can uh, see from the 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 the, the, the thermometer if the, the the thermometer point coming uh, coming into the the green zone. That means the the ice block is uh, is uh, conditioned and are ready for for use. And uh, then we can place the, the, the we can place the uh, the ice blocks into the uh, device. Um, I think uh, uh, the, the 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 loading of the ice blocks is easier. You just need to one by one at uh, at one time. But but the the last the last ice blocks is difficult to uh, replace to the doer uh, because. Uh, this is this is the uh, this is the uh, image of the ice blocks inside the dua. Um, the first uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven is easier to 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 replace, but the last one is very difficult to replace to the uh, to the architect. So uh, the last uh, I, I I want to demonstrate uh, demonstrate to you how to. Uh, insert the last ice blocks into the uh, device. The last ice blocks we need to position the uh, the the ice blocks like this. The this uh, rectangular side down, and um, and uh, just uh, insert insert this uh, this section, uh, and then adjust the the, the attitude. Uh, 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 re uh, revolve the top side. Into the right place. Um, here, I want to so, uh, I want to demonstrate how to how, how to insert uh, how to insert the, the art blocks inside. Uh, you can see that the the the, the, the drawer is very light, uh, can handled by one person. Um, just. Uh, uh, at least uh, I'll show you. <laughs> and one by one, and uh, you can insert uh, eight uh, sets of us block into the dua. Into the uh, architect, and uh, and after that, I want to introduce a, a vaccine uh, next uh, to you uh, to you all. Um, uh, this uh, vaccine deck, uh, there there they are uh, a larger a larger one and uh, and two smaller one two smaller one. And the middle one is a larger one. The middle one is a larger one. The middle one is a larger one. And the 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 the, the side one, the side one is a uh, is two uh, smaller one. The larger one uh, consists of uh, three uh, lots. Uh, 
cough, you can twist them apart like uh, just as we do. Uh, to twist them apart and then uh, separate them uh, apart, uh, separate them, and uh, you can um, uh, place the, the, the you can place the the vaccine vials into them, and uh, after that you can uh, twist them together into a set of uh, vaccine uh, today. Okay. Uh, that finished for the middle uh, vaccine deck, and uh, uh, there is a there's a, a D user cover on the top of the on the top of the, the of the larger uh, 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 the larger one. Uh, that is used for the uh, daily uh, purpose when the nurse or in the users they need to uh, take the vaccine for uh, for uh, for a volume of uh, one D need. So they can just them. Um, uh, Two of them apart from the top. This one. And after the the, the vaccine uh, take out, you can you can put the, the uh, this uh, this cup on the bottom or here on the bottom here. That uh, uh, means this uh, that means this uh, this uh, cup of vaccine uh, is used, and uh, you can twist this part uh, apart. Uh, this cup apart, and after uh, usage, uh, after using of the vaccine, you can put this uh, cup to the bottom, and uh, you and uh, uh, cycle. Okay, this is uh, this is the middle one. Uh, this this two are the side one. Just uh, uh, on the opposite of the middle one, this is the other one. They uh, can still. Uh, 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 one, one big cup, this one, and uh, and three small cup. You can see this is a small cup. This is a bigger cup. You can see the difference between the two cups. After the after the vaccine. Um, and uh, after the, the, the vial, after the vial uh, is placed into the vaccine deck, we need to place the, 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 the vaccine uh, to the uh, architect device. First is the side one. We place the side, side uh, architect uh, into the dual, into the device, and push them against, push it against the, the, the inside wall. And then, uh, and then the 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 the, the other uh, uh, side one, you you put it on the on the on the other uh, inside wall, and that means uh, leave a space uh, for the bigger one. You can uh, now you can uh, place the the, 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 the the large one in the uh, in the architect device. That's the, the, the whole uh, step for the for the for the ice block and uh, uh, vaccine deck. I think I, I demonstrated uh, all the steps for the for the ice block and uh, vaccine uh, deck. And do you have uh, do you have any questions for me? And uh, you can uh, ask. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. That was very thorough and very informative. Um, we do have many questions. The first question is related to the, the vaccine stacks. The question is how many vaccine vials can be stored in each stack? Uh, this, this cup is uh, uh, 0 0.5 liters of a vaccine. And uh, the totally three set of a vaccine uh, stacks is uh, 5.4 Nitro's uh, vaccine capacity. For the, the vaccine stack specifically, is there a number of times it can be used before it must be replaced? Oh, it, it, it can be stored for, for uh, 35 days before they are replaced. Okay, 
And after one year or maybe after two years, do you need to buy new vaccine stacks or new ice blocks? No, it's not necessary. The vaccine, uh, the vaccine deck uh, is, uh, uh, is not a one-time stack. It can be used for a very, very long time, like 10 years. Okay. And the, the ice blocks as well, the same 10 years? Yes. Yes, 10 years. Okay. And then there's the thermometer in each of the ice blocks. Does that need to be replaced or is there a certain number of uses this can withstand? Uh, it's not necessary to replace them. Uh, I think that the, the, the life uh, of the, the, the thermometer is 10 years more. Okay, perfect. And is there a battery in the device at all? Uh, yes. Yes, there's a battery. In, uh, the battery is just powered for the for the display, not powered for the performance of the, the device. Okay, of course. So that's just a very small battery. Yeah. Easy to replace. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yours or... mm -hmm. okay, perfect. Um, and then a few questions have been related to the temperature range. I know that you mentioned the range, but they're asking if it can be adjusted manually. Can you choose what temperature you want the device to be stored? Uh, it cannot adjust it uh, now. Uh, if you please, uh, if you fill uh, the ice blocks with water, that means that the, the, the temperature inside the, 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 the device is zero to 10 degrees C. But if you want to adjust the, the temperature manually, manually uh, we need to provide other phase change materials, uh, phase change materials to uh, adjust the temperature accordingly. Like uh, the uh, Ebola vaccine, uh, we need to provide the, 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 the uh, PCM uh, to the WHO, and then the, the, the vaccine can be stored uh, below uh, minus 60 degrees C. Okay, perfect. And then a, a few questions have been surrounding um, any consumables or uh, replaceable parts. So are, I know there's really only the three components, the the actual device, the storage device, the ice blocks, and the vaccine stacks. Is there anything else that would be considered an accessory or a consumable? Uh, there's no consumables because uh, the purpose we design is to uh, meet the, the, the demand from the market the market, uh, uh, because the, the, the device it, it, it would be used in remote uh, areas, and uh, I think the, the replace of the uh, uh, consumables is very difficult for, 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 the, for the user. So, uh, before, the, 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 during the development, uh, uh, we especially took this uh, uh, factor into consideration, uh, so there are no consumable uh, uh, materials. Uh, or, or spare parts. Okay, perfect. And what is included with the Arctech? I know you mentioned eight ice blocks, but someone asked a question that if you need to replace the ice blocks and continue to use the device, you need eight more ice blocks so that they can already be frozen. Does it come with yeah. only eight ice blocks or does it come with additional ice blocks? They come with eight, eight sets of ice blocks equipped and plus additional uh, eight sets of ice blocks. They are free. Okay, so you can just continuously replace the ice blocks for continued yeah. use. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. I think that will be a very good answer for this customer. Um, and then the question about 
the water that is used inside the ice blocks. Is there, I know you mentioned it must be clean water. Are there any specifications for the water quality, temperature when it's added, anything about the, the, the cleanliness of the water that must be followed or can any distilled water be used? Uh, yeah, yeah, the digital water is uh, allowed. Uh, but we prefer the, 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 the uh, minus two to minus one degree C uh, water because that will save the, save the energy, save the power uh, to reach the uh, below zero uh, degree C. Uh, um, yeah, the digital water is, uh, is okay, just the clean water. There's no uh, special requirements for the water. Okay. Uh, tea for water, okay. Tea for water is uh, accepted. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we just have a, a few more questions. The first one is related to the warranty. What type of warranty is included for each component? Uh, two years. Uh, two years of warranty is covered. Okay. And that applies to each component with the vaccine stacks and the device and the ice blocks? Yes. OK, excellent. Um, there's also quite a few questions related to uh, pricing and, and um, orders and things like that, specifications. For those of you asking those questions, you can refer to the product page on the VIA Global Health site. We have all of the information for specifications. And if you want to ask about quotations and orders, you can request a quotation on the site there. So for all of those questions, please refer your inquiries through the website. Just a few more questions here. Uh, the first one is also on a product page, but I will, I'll ask you so you have the chance to explain. Um, are there any regulatory approvals for the Arctech? Is it uh, CE or WHO or ISO? What certifications does it carry? The Arctech device is uh, pre qualified by the WHO. That means the, 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 the certification, uh, certificate of PQS. Okay. Excellent. Um, and then can you give a bit more information about where the Arctech is typically being used? So some of our customers have said they, they're not familiar with this product, but they want to know if it's being used in their region. So where has the product been distributed already? Uh, yeah, in many countries, uh, Nigeria, uh, Senegal, uh, Kenya, uh, Ethiopia, Haiti, and uh, Nepal. Uh, I think in many different countries, uh, uh, South, South, uh, South Sudan, uh, Congo, uh, I'm not sure the name, DRC, many countries, I think the, 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 the response, feedback from the Haiti and uh, um, many other countries are very, very positive. They, think, they, they thought uh, the, the performance and the quality is uh, are, are very good uh, uh, architect. Okay, excellent. Um, and then just a just one more question that's really come in. Uh, it's about training. And people are wondering, is there a training manual included? Because they it feels like this is a very simple product to learn, but they want to know if there is a visual training or visual manual where they can better understand how to use the device. Yes, yes, there is a video training on the website. OK. And then if uh, with the shipment, is there a manual included, a printed manual? Yes. Yeah, people, people, uh, people uh, use a menu uh, is included in the shipment. OK, perfect. And we also have some feedback from uh, Michael over at Global Good as well for some of the questions that have come in. Um, so for the question that someone had related to the how many vials will fit per the uh, vaccine stacks, 
obviously that does depend upon the the size of the vials so it's going to be approximately 200 to or sorry 220 to 240 for uh for the one mil or the 0.1 mil uh vials um and then the for the temperature question uh it, there's feedback that it can be adjusted from negative uh, 60 to negative 40, negative 20 to 4C, uh, as well as other temperatures. Uh, but it's important to use water to be qualified or certified with PQS. Uh, and then a few more countries that are also listed uh, to have used the Arctic are Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. Uh, so a bit more of that geographic range as well. Um, so that's that's all the questions that we have from our, our attendees right now. Uh, Lee, is there anything else that you wanted to explain about the device or talk about key benefits? Um, I guess, sorry, I'll, I'll step in quickly. For this is uh, developed to obviously be used in more remote settings where there is no power. So what type of product would you say does this replace? You mean you mean if any other product can replace Arctic? Um, yes. So, is what would you consider a competitor? Would it be a more traditional vaccine with power, um, or what would be the other um, competitors? Till now, there is no competitor because uh, um, Arctic uh, do not need uh, uh, external power, uh, but uh, there are challenges. Um, is uh, solar, uh, for, uh, solar free, uh, uh, solar freezer, uh, but the price for solar are very, very uh, expensive compared to the to the to that of uh, Arctic device. Okay, so obviously, with no power requirement and a lower price point, those are two key benefits of the Arctic. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. It was very informative, and I know everyone has learned quite a bit about the Arctech now that they did not know before. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. The questions that people had before about anything from requesting a quote to specifications to regulatory approvals, what we try to do is list all of that information there on our product page. So you can see, again, pictures of the product. You can see it as one whole device or the components. You can also see the regulatory approval, which was one of the questions there. Um, again, if you want to request a quote, that can be done all just here, and we can respond to your queries there. Um, any of the product documents, as you mentioned, the, the training manuals and user manuals, all are available here. Same with the warranty details. Specifications, um, as we mentioned, all of these details are here. So if you have further questions, feel free to contact us directly. If you have your, your local representative with VIA Global Health, or you wanna go directly through the website. Uh, again, we will follow up in the coming weeks and also add the video that we're recording today to this product page. So you're then more aware that you can watch this again or share with any customers to help with your training. But with that, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on the latest VIA Live product training, and we look forward to having you for the next one. Thank you very much.